We're here on our wildlife safari trailer and that's going to be a bit of a theme for this month's Wild Watch. We hope you've had a chance to visit us over the last few weeks. We've actually had a fantastic breeding season. Three pairs of cranes, four youngsters still active around the site. You've got to come and see those. A fantastic year for lapwing, probably one of our best ever. Could be as many as 30 or 40 youngsters reared. And we're still seeing loads of avocets. Best year for them as well. Again, 40, 50 youngsters reared and lots of activity around the site. So it's been a great breeding season so far. Migrant waders are increasing at the moment. These are birds returning from their high Arctic breeding grounds and beginning to pass through Slimbridge. We're already seeing good numbers of ruff, the males in their fantastic breeding plumage, lots of dunning coming through as well. And that's only going to increase over the next few weeks. So keep an eye open from the hides, uh, especially from the South Lake and from the Zeiss hide. Brilliant wader watching coming up. One of the really must-see things right now are the young ducks. Families everywhere, mallards, gadwall, especially tufted duck just now. But the very best place to get to see them is on our wildlife safaris. And you can add shoveler and potchard into that mix as well. We're having a fantastic year for breeding ducks. The wildlife safaris will be running daily now right through to the end of August and they're a fantastic opportunity to see the wider reserve. We'll tell you a little bit about the management, the history of the site, but mainly we'll be looking for wildlife. Flowers, butterflies, and we might even find a grass snake if we're lucky, but one of the really good things over the next few weeks will be dragonflies. A dozen or so species around at the moment, a really great time to come and see them. For Slimbridge 2020, I've been trialling some invertebrate species to see whether we can display them in captive environments. And one of the species that we've been working with and have had some success with are the blue-tailed damselflies. So before deciding to actually trial damselflies in captivity, I did a little bit of research and I dis discovered that there wasn't actually many people that had worked with damselflies or dragonflies within the zoo world. So this is quite pioneering stuff. We managed to come full circle with the blue-tailed damselflies, from nymphs all the way to metamorphing into damselflies, which means, hopefully, we can show you the full life cycle in the living wetland theatre exhibits. In the meantime, with this really hot weather, you can find damselflies and dragonflies all across the reserve. And if you want to see blue-tailed damselflies, you can come here to the pond zone. Hello, I'm Helen. I'm the curator of the Scott House Museum and today I'm talking to you a little bit about the process of getting the house ready to turn into a museum. A key aim of the museum will be for visitors to walk into the house and feel as though they're in a living, breathing space where the family have just walked out of the room. And I've been doing a lot of research to try to understand how the house looked at different periods in its past. I had the pleasure of meeting Daphila Scott, who's the daughter of Peter and Philippa, and she walked around the house with me and talked to me about what the house was like to grow up in as a, as a child. And she was telling me, for example, that you could walk into the studio when Peter was painting and he wouldn't even notice you'd come in because he was so focused on what he was doing. And it's those kind of gems of information that I really hope will help me to bring the house to life for visitors. So far we've been cataloguing the objects in the kitchen and the dining room with a team of volunteers, which is already thousands of objects and we've got several more rooms left to do. The work we're doing at Scott House is part of a wider Slimbridge 2020 project and you can keep up to date with all the latest goings on at our micro site or just search online for Slimbridge 2020.